I got a goodie in the mail, which I'll show you guys soon, today, I promise. Mm. You said maybe today? Yeah. Wow. Hubby's a party pooper. We decided to go for a walk today. It's so nice. It's nicer than yesterday, right? Mm. Yeah. In the sun, I'm sure it's even warmer. I just took a sweater just in case, but honestly, we wouldn't need it. That's how nice it is. Lila's kind of like, ooh, what's happening? Something different's happening. She's gonna wanna walk. Yeah, probably. Ooh, that's sun. Oh. I'm gonna miss this. Beautiful scenery. Judging off the last set, I'm probably gonna need his assistance on this next one. <laughs> Twenty, feeling good. We'll see how much I can bring it up. <laughs> that was two thirty. Now we're going for two fifty. Feel good. We'll see. <laughs>
Pushing it with hubby is no joke. He's mean in the gym. Oh. Hubby helped me push it today with some new workouts. Look at this, they're so big. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I've been telling him that I wanted to grow my quads more, especially like right by the knee. I feel like I lean out there a lot. They're so hard right now, it's not even funny. It's like scary hard. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to walk tomorrow. But it's okay, I like that. that that'll tell me I pushed it hard. So we're all done, now it's time to go eat and get this body refueled because it really needs it. I had a kick butt workout. I haven't had a... Hey, get away from the stairs, mommy. I haven't had a great workout like this in a while. Like last workout was great, but like, I don't know, it was kind of boring. This time it was not boring at all. It was really good, I enjoyed it. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know why that scared me. I wasn't sure what it was. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm all great. She threw her toy against the wall and I don't know, it's like one of those rubbery things, but I didn't see her throw it, so I, I, I don't know what my mind thought it was, but it apparently freaked me out. You, Anyways. You need carbs. <laughs> I need my carbs. Off we go eat. Come on, Layla. So I asked you guys for ideas and you gave me an idea for this video, cellulite, something that affects most women. Um, a lot of people have cellulite wrong. I think they don't quite understand what cellulite is, therefore it's really hard for them to get rid of it. Um, it is possible to diminish the appearance by a lot. I am living proof it's possible to get rid of it completely, um, but people say it's not just because um, it's difficult and you really do have to be committed keep a very fit uh, lifestyle before I started my bulk you can squeeze my skin and I had nothing like nothing nothing um, currently I have a little bit it's not terrible uh, but it's because of the bulk and I haven't quite leaned yet I'm probably gonna start leaning in March or April um, for summer um, so why I have cellulite now is because it's excess fat. I put on excess fat during my bulk. Not a lot, but enough to give me some cellulite. So that is what cellulite is. If you see cellulite, whether you are overweight or very lean, because this affects very lean girls, it is because you have excess fat. And when it affects lean girls, it mostly means they have no muscle definition uh, or very little muscle definition. So therefore, all you see is skin and a layer of fat. Everybody has fat. Um, so what you want to do is understand how to get rid of it. Now drinking water and drinking raw vegetables and fruits is amazing. It'll help with the appearance. It won't get rid of the actual problem. So I have people saying, well, I eat really clean. But as I've told you guys, eating clean is only part of the problem or part of the solution. The other thing is eating at a deficit. Are you eating at a deficit? Are you eating enough calories? Um, that you are burning more but you're not so much at a deficit that it's actually counterproductive because if you are severely under eating what happens is you're not eating enough to build muscle and you need that muscle so that it pushes against the skin and smooths it out that's really what um, getting rid of cellulite does you you get rid of some fat and you build muscle definition which in return comes back and pushes the skin uh, making it appear smoother and rounder but if you're eating at such a low deficit you cannot really build very much muscle at all. So you have to make sure your nutrition is on point and not just on point like, I eat clean. You have to make sure it's on point that you are eating the right amount. Not too much, not too little, just the right amount for you. Um, and as I said, guys, this all has to do with your body, your activity, so I can't really answer this question. Unless you are evaluated and one of my clients, then I can go through and figure that out for you. Um, but the other thing that people get wrong is they think, I have cellulite, let me do tons of cardio. Cardio is good if it's paired with weightlifting and done, um, weightlifting being the priority workout, cardio being once, twice a week. Um, and also non-aggressive 
cardio is so important. A lot of people can go start running on the treadmill. Um, I see girls running on the treadmill like hardcore and it like you don't need to do it like that unless you really really enjoy it but understand that if you do aggressive cardio it may make your cellulite look worse it aggravates cellulite um, you're doing weight loss but you're not building muscle and therefore um, when that happens you tend to see more cellulite I've had girls ask me I've lost weight, I'm doing a lot of cardio, but for some reason my cellulite looks so horrible now. It's because of that. You want to weight lift so that you're building muscle underneath as well as burning fat and you're going to look better during your journey rather than getting horrible cellulite and feeling so discouraged. Um, so weightlifting is key. You need to weightlift with a little bit of cardio. Make sure it's not too aggressive. You know, maybe like twice a week. I Coming from me, I don't really do cardio, but in my defense, I work out really, really hard that if I had to add cardio in there, I need to eat more and I'm already having a hard time eating more. Therefore, I do not really do cardio except jump rope. You guys see me do maybe four minutes uh, once a week now. Not even I haven't really done it um, and that's solely because the harder you work out the more you need to eat and right now I can't really eat so why add that in there um, but if you are trying to burn fat then it's a good thing to add in there just don't overdo it so those are my tips add weightlifting make sure it's your priority some cardio not aggressive uh, make sure you're drinking and eating raw fruits and vegetables. That's important. But most importantly, that diet, guys, you got to make sure that you're eating the right amount of calories for your body. Um, those are my four tips. Deficit. It needs to be a slight deficit. In order to get rid of fat, you need to be at a deficit, meaning you're burning more calories than you're consuming in order to get rid of excess fat. If you're eating 3,000 calories, it doesn't matter how clean those 3,000 calories are, you will continue to have cellulite, you will add on fat if you're eating at a surplus. If someone asks me, well, if I eat very clean, do I even need to track? Yes, because the calorie is a calorie, doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is how much you're consuming and how much you're burning. So calories consumed at the end of the day matter most. And same goes for those people that are eating like a thousand calories or less. Um, as I said, if you're not eating enough to fuel your body properly, your body is probably uh, storing more fat because it's in starvation mode. There's no way it's building muscle there. If anything, it's cannibalizing your muscle and making your cellulite worse. Um, so both ways are, are really bad. That's why I always preach nutrition. Nutrition is key. Um, nutrition is what determines your goals if you're headed in the right direction or not. Fat, That's why I sound like a broken record all the time, but... And fat is not bias. And fat is not bias. You just gotta do the right things your body needs to do in order to see improvement. Um, and it's different for everybody. That's what makes it difficult. But once you understand it, it's really not that difficult. Um, it all comes down to nutrition, making sure you're either eating at a deficit, surplus, or maintaining if you want nothing to happen. And having a good workout routine, a effective workout routine. This takes me back to my Q&A's on Snapchat, guys. <laughs> I feel like that's what we're doing right now. Hey, baby. So anyways, I hope those tips help you guys. Um, I'm really just working on emails. Today is Saturday, so I'm sending out schedules, getting in progress photos. By the way, since I'm talking about emails, I know that a lot of you email me um, who are not clients and those emails I put to the side until I get back to all clients my clients come first and then I get back to <laughs> other people and vendors and all that stuff so everyone gets put aside so if you feel like you've been put aside don't get upset it's just how it works um, I need time to get to your email it takes me a while because like for instance today Saturday is when I send out schedules and I'm receiving progress photos all the way till um, Tuesday I really don't get a break till like the end of the week Thursday Friday Friday maybe um, where it's slowed down to the point where I can look at other emails so just be patient I do get back to everybody um, it just takes me a while hmm? you start from the bottom up. and I always start from the bottom up so um, write you twice. yeah so if you write me twice the way Gmail works is it puts you back on top so every time you keep writing me it's just gonna keep putting you back on top um, so just be patient and don't write so many times cuz like I said, it's going to take longer for me to respond. Um, anyways, I think that's it for today. It's not really going to be adventurous. I, I'm not done sending out schedules. It's almost 8 o'clock, so i got to get back on this. Um, i got to eat. 
I haven't really ate much today, so naked juices, thank you. I also check all my comments too, I read them all. Um, I love to go through them. It's just I, I have to find time to get back to everyone and I will never, like, I don't like getting back to just one person and not like everyone at the same time. You do it in the morning. Um, and I usually try to do it in the mornings unless my morning is like totally messed up from either emails or something. Um, so. I do read all the comments. Sorry if I don't. I missed the comment or I didn't get back to you at one point. I really, really try to get back to as many people as possible um, because I like to interact with you guys and I like to hear what you guys have to say. But anyways, we're gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Subscribe if you haven't. Hit that bell for notifications. And until next time, bye. Can you say bye bye to everybody?